In this video, we will be making this bearing housing along with the bearing and also we will be performing the motion study as well. So let's begin. At first, select this file, click on new and open a part file. Set this uh, background color to plain white. Then select this front plane, click on sketch and make a circle at the origin. Now let's make another circle at the origin, a somewhat bigger circle. And then select this smart dimension and set the distance between these two circles as 8.5 mm. Okay, and then set this uh, smaller circle diameter as 42 millimeter. Make sure that you have selected this MMGS as your units. After that, select a line. From this point to this point, make a vertical line. Then make these lines. And then make here a vertical line. Press the escape button, select this line and make it as a construction geometry. The line will automatically convert it into a center line. Then select this uh, smart dimension tool. And from origin of the circle to this uh, bottom line, specify the distance as 33 millimeter. Then specify the length of this line as well. I am specifying here 20 mm. And from this line to this line, set the horizontal distance. Set this to 55 millimeter. And now it's time to mirror the entities. Select this line, this line. These are selecting here, appearing here, you can see. And mirror about this vertical line. Okay, you can see this yellow sketch, which is exactly the mirror of this blue sketch, which means that we do not have to make and uh, set the parameters again. Now select this uh, fillet, select these two lines and set this fillet dimension as 2 millimeter. Similarly, select these two lines and then click OK. So fillet has been applied and now it's time to trim the entities. Select this uh, circle and this one. So these curves have been eliminated and you can see the color of this uh, sketch has been changed. Go to features and select extruded boss base and uh, specify here mid plane. And extrude it up to 14 mm. Here is our 3D object. Let's modify it further. Select this face and click on sketch. And now select a corner rectangle here. From this point to this point make a corner rectangle. Specify the uh, length of this rectangle as 29 millimeter. And now make a center line because we want to mirror it onto the other face. Now select this uh, mirror entities. Select this rectangle and mirror about this vertical line and you can see this yellow sketch has been mirrored. After that click OK. And now it's time to extrude this. For that select this extruded boss. Change this direction one from mid plane to blind. And uh, extrude it up to 3 millimeter. And after that click OK. Now let's apply some appearance for better visualization. Select this metal. And you can apply any color you want. And now it's time to mirror the features. For that select this mirror command. For plane or face. Expand this bar. And select this front plane, this vertical plane, mid plane you can see. And then uh, in features to mirror just uh, select this boss extrude to. Or you can select this as well. And then click OK. You can see the feature had been mirrored.
on to the other face and now it's time to make a sketch for that select this face and click on sketch make a center line make sure that it is at 90 degree select a line and make a sketch like this make a tapered line and then this straight line and then this angled line again and now press the control button on your keyboard select this point this point and this center line and make relation as symmetric similarly press the control button on your keyboard select this point this point and select this line and make relation as symmetric okay and in order to complete the sketch uh, make a line here from here to this point now you can see the sketch has been turned into a blue and now let's specify uh, some dimension to this line set this dimension to 39 mm and this uh, 33 mm and automatically this height will be 3 mm okay click here okay then select this extruded cut and in direction one select through all let me show you select this through all and then click ok ok so now it's time to make some fillet for that select this fillet command select this corner and set the dimension of the fillet as 5 mm select all, all of these four corners this one and this one and after that click ok select the fillet again this time set this uh, up to 1 mm and select this these inner corners these inner edges all of these uh, inner edges of the both sides and then click ok so fillet has been applied you can see this profile and now select this face and click on sketch we have to make a circle here but as you can see there is no center point for that make a center line from this midpoint to this midpoint and now let's select this uh, circle and find the midpoint of the center line and make a circle just press escape button and uh, let's specify the diameter of this circle as 8 mm and now let's make a center line make a vert vertical line at this origin because we want to mirror this uh, circle to the other side S select this mirror entities this circle and mirror about this vertical line you can see this uh, yellow circle has been mirrored and after that click ok now select this extruded cut and in direction one select this through all and then click ok now this bearing housing is ready now save this file as a bearing housing after saving this file just close it here and now click on file click on new and open assembly file this time just import the bearing housing file we have created place it here and in this design toolbox expand this bar and in these design libraries we have to select ISO select bearing here select ball bearing here and select radial ball bearing and drag it in this workspace of the solidworks 
and after that we have to uh, specify the parameters of this ball bearing for size you have to specify 2925 it is difficult to find but you have to look at the last two digits and like 10 11 12 13 and you have to scroll down up to uh, 25 and then uh, specify 2925 after that set this display to detailed and add a cage as well it will take uh, some time after defining each parameter of this uh, ball bearing after specifying all the parameters just cross this because we only need one ball bearing and now let's drag it up to here let me show you these are the balls inner face and outer face and the cage in which the balls has been inserted and now let's rotate this ball bearing and now click on mate select the upper face of the bearing and inner face of the uh, bearing housing and then click ok now you can see this ball bearing can uh, go inside this bearing housing now select the mate again select this side of the ball bearing and this side of the bearing housing and click this option this option means uh, specify the distance I am just specifying here 5 let's modify this make it 2 this looks fine then click ok and now let's rotate this ball bearing we are only left with the motion study analysis for that motion study just expand this bar go to settings here and make frame per second as 30 and check this option expand this up to 12 and select this contact option just select the outer race of the ball bearing and the body of the uh, bearing housing and then click ok select this motor option and select the inner race of the bearing and set the rotational speed to 10 rpm and then click ok now let's press this calculate button and then press display button so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thank you